Okay, I'm going to talk about pen brush equivalencies. I uh, might start with uh, some basic pen stuff first. Mm. Pen. There's a pen line. hooks just like with a brush if you put a little pressure at, at the end of the stroke you can make it curl okay and that that curl even though you can do it with a brush like this do hooks with a brush, that curl will evolve over time, you'll find, into that simple stamp, right, as you put pressure at the, at the edge, at the tip of the stroke, at the end of it, uh, you'll end up, or you can end up if you want, with uh, like a feather to black effect. Now you can't really do that with all pens. You can do it with some flex nibs. This one is a little stiff for that. And you'll end up more with a comma shape. That hook will fill in. You need a more flexible tip to, uh, to create the, uh, the wedge shape it will also be much smaller, much finer than with a brush. Okay. Um, this, by the way, we never talked about this brush. This is a, a low Cornell 4050 ultra pointed round. When it was new, that point went to about there, right, or there, mm, like that. It was about that long. It has since been ground down so that it looks like pretty much like a normal pointed round instead of ultra pointed. But when it was new, the, the tip of the tuft was so fine that you could use it, uh, you could use it in place of an ultra fine pen. Okay. Um. We got stuff on here. Okay, what am I doing now? I'm skating the edges. I'm skating this edge, the leading edge, first. Uh, gives me a, a pretty fine point, and if I press, if I press even a little bit. I get trouble, like I had trouble making that line. So, leading edge gives you a fine point. Pressing on the following edge gives you the ability to thicken the line. Okay, that's, that's the far edge now as I'm pulling down. If I were pushing up, the following edge would be on the other side, right? And the leading edge which would be on the front. But the finest line is if you rotate the pen, turn it all the way around, and draw with the top part of it. So that's a little trick for, for modulating your, your strokes. Following edge leading edge and the very top of the the pen. Okay. 
that's a little something that applies only to pens, doesn't apply to the brush. Now, we talked about dry brush, right? In the other video, we talked about creating tone with dry brush. With a pen, you can't do that, obviously, right? But what you can do, let me get a, let's take this sucker. Mm, yeah. I'm going to use a hawk quill. It's not my, my first choice, because we could go a lot finer. We could go with a 104, which is going to give the, uh, the effect I want, but it's too dry to use it, too dry in the house to use it, so the ink won't flow on it. It's not flowing very well on this either. But if you caress the paper, and this is hardly a caress now, because I'm really pressing into the paper to get the ink off. If you, if you draw the pen back and forth as if you were doing lazy man strokes, but so tight, do it really tight so that there's no space between, between the lines. This, you can see space. It looks like an accordion, right? So tighten that up. And what you get is tone. And doing it with a lazy man stroke is, is a, a quick way to do it. It's not necessarily the, the neatest way, and you might re end up with uh, a, a problem. You might create trouble for yourself, depending on what kind of effect you're looking for, because at, at each end of the lazy man's stroke, you might start to get a dark edge. If you don't want that, if you don't need it, if it's not part of, of the effect that you're searching for, then you have to do the strokes uh, one at a time, and it's really difficult to do a caressing stroke one at a time because it's the rhythm. It's, it's the rhythm back and forth on the paper that creates, um, that helps you create the tone. Of course, when the air is very dry, it's, it's futile to use pens. It uh, just wastes your time drives you crazy. All right. Pen brush equivalents. I can't think of anything else right now. Mm. I can't think of anything that'll work is what I mean. Let's try one other thing. Let's try one other thing. This is a 103 mapping. Okay, it's like using a tiny little brush. You can see the strokes. Just like these, right? They're just like these except miniature. Oops. Let's go in tight on that. This is what I'm doing with the 103. And that's what I did with the brush. Same idea, it works.